Uh, what if Becky can only do this? Only the lesbians can bring the mud stand down? Trying to show us up? Motherfucker, I'm, I'm as strong as a lesbian any day. I'm just like a lesbian. I care about shoulder pads and denim jackets. Oh, ha ha ha, stereotypes. Oh, you can stereotype gay men, but not lesbians? Let me tell you something. I, I'm, a, I'm, not, I'm a trucker. I'm a gay trucker. Oh, hardy har har, somebody's lifestyle is yours or someone else's? I'm a trucker. Let me tell you something about that truck of mine. 18 wheels, diesel drinking, passion powered, tunnel tearing, heartbreaking machine of mine. So we could fuck a factory. Bend over, I'll drive you home right now. Punch on pal. There's actually more to that joke, but I got Parkinson's. Excuse. You believe I got Parkinson's? Look, I walk like a dehydrated Nazi. I walk like a broken penguin. And that's not, these aren't even notes, it's just shit I carry around with me. And don't get all quiet because I said I have Parkinson's. I didn't come up here and be like, I have Parkinson's, could you please vote for me for Last Comic Dead? Thank you very much. Please, if I could squeeze one sweaty laugh out of you before I die of Parkinson's. Before I do this, I can't talk anymore. You know? I had a stutter when I was on heroin, so what's Parkinson's? I was a stuttering male prostitute who worked for the mob on Parkinson's. I'm on heroin, so what's the difference? Man, my back feels like... I miss cocaine, though. Hey, look at this. Oh, uh -uh, wait, what am I wearing? I'm not an Asian skater. There we go. a gay 70s mama's boy cop and H&M... What's this? How you doing? You want to hear a joke? I got a joke, wait. Right? Hear... I can do jokes. This is my angry uncle. I don't want to do this j joke yet, but I'm going to because you're staring at me and I feel like it's a sh showdown. And I ain't going to let you win, Yankee cat. From New York. That's another sign that I have to do the joke. Hey, Dave, what do you mean there's no God? Look at this right now. Two guys from New York who pretend they're gay to, to get a punchline. Your eyebrows are good. They're like two seagulls about to fuck on the beach. I'm a poet, but I suck at it. I didn't know I was poetic. I didn't know I was poetic. There goes my heart. I, I have a poet's heart. Catch him. He's too free. He will die in the winter. I, I hate ducks. Am I the only one? No. I can't feed ducks because I'm too real. You know, like I start throwing them food and, I go like, and they act like all aloof. You know that? They're, they don't look at you. They only pick the food when you turn your back. I, I start yelling at it. Like I start becoming a brat. Like, you see me. You see me. Fucking lies, motherfuckers. You, you got food floating right around your ass. Like, you got a God and I don't. You'd probably run this town. You're worse than the gays and the Jews, fucking ducks. <laughs> I do the gay Jew thing with ducks. Nobody's ever done that. You can't do that. People don't think that way. Get that to your nut. Take a hike. Uh, uh, now, what were my real jokes? You ever hate yourself so much your apartment wants you out? Your apartment can't take you anymore. Like you go to brush your teeth, your first thing in the morning, you're like, oh God, I know I'm the one who should have killed George Bush. And you're walking through the mirror and you're like, oh, and you go, go to get your toothbrush and he's like, come on, man, no one's going to talk to you anymore. Just go outside, just get out of here. You know? and, and your sink winks at me and he goes, spit on me, I hate you. And he goes, answer the phone. No, don't. That's perfect, loser. And the air goes, all right, we'll go, we'll go in, but we're only staying for a second, then we're fucking out of here. <sighs> Oh, shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. I got AIDS, but I'll beat it because I'm American. And that's how we roll. America. Same thought depot. I got my boyfriend where, he, where she got her boyfriend, where she got her boyfriend, where she got her boyfriend. It's same boyfriend depot. We got our, our couch where they got their couch, where they got their couch, where they got their couch. That same couch depot. We got all our furniture needs at furniture needs depot. We got all our needs at needs depot. We got all our depots at depot depot. Punchline, pow. Let me see if there's a punchline coming down Punchline Mountain. No, nothing, sorry, I can't help you. I got a bad attitude. Looking at my ass here in New York. I don't know how you guys get from New York. You're like, I'll eat anything, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if it's a faggot's ass here. I'll fucking eat it, man. That's how I am, I'm an animal. Faggot, that's a good word. When I say faggot, I don't mean the good kind of gay, you know? <laughs> you said you had my back, man. You said you had, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, hey, stand up for something once. But, uh, no, when I say faggot, I don't mean the good kind of gay, you know, real gay men with like Samuel Jackson and Danny Glover fucking, you know, and striated muscles and chizzy shooting out like bullets, dicks are hanging like Tommy guns, balls are banging into each other like old boxers, 
working for lost horse heads, Mitch and Spissing a Cow, Lee Marvinson on his own dick to show Jared Leto what a fag Ed Norton's always gonna be. Always, always, always. No matter how many leading roles, no matter how many times he tries to play a, a, a neo-Nazi, no matter how many, no matter how many and, and Ryan Gosling, and Ryan Gosling again, and, uh, and Matthew McCorney, the ballerina. I don't mean that kind of gay. I mean the other real gay. You know, Grey's Anatomy gay. <laughs> there must be a better TV show to use as a reference. Write that down and do a Google search right away before this joke ends. Ah, uh, too late. Your breasts look good like two angry men having an argument. Passionate breasts. I like, I like, that's, that's what I like. I like a guy like you. Like, you like that? You like that? Huh? Yeah, that's who I am. You know, if she don't stick your tits out unless they get licked. I love that. I love that. I love that. I'm who I am. Uh, uh. You stick your tongue out, you look like a honeybee looking for a thorn. Always looking for trouble as an insect. Right, where's the joke when I need one? You ever not want to do shit? Or you just don't want to do fucking shit. You know, we're men. We don't have. What's with having to be upwardly mobile? You know, why can't women love you for the pile of shit you are? You know, why, why do we have to be upwardly? Like, if girls, if it was only girls on the planet, there'd be like. Borders books with pink walls and Starbucks with earth tones and stereotypes with stereotype co colors and a man will kill only stereotype. And if girls weren't around, men would just fuck the desert. You know, we'd be fine. You know? Like, I just want to get out of the shower naked. 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 Oh, can you give me a cup of coffee. Naked. Pull the car around. Naked. Uh, wh what's your name? Uh, say it again. Huh. <laughs> Shut up. See, 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 see. Shut up, I'm trying to make a friend. I'm trying to make a fucking friend. I can't eat potato chips. I have to do yoga. I want to make a friend. You realize that happened to me? That happened to anybody else where you died four times? No? The reason I'm like this is I died four times. You know, like the last time I died, like, like, like now I eat what I used to fuck. You know, like chai and ginger, and cinnamon, and turmeric. I used to fuck the shit out of that shit, you know? Now I put it in the magic bullet. I was a magic bullet. That's a one line of hidden dude behind the pile of words. You'd have to piss on it to make the other shit melt away. I love that shit, I love shit. How many people love dark, dirty shit? Just say it, you, you do, she smiled big, but she, she didn't want him to know, so she went, oh, he's awful. She went, she went, Let's get out of here. This isn't comedy at all. Oh man, my leg is stiff. So, uh, that sucks, you know? You know what comes with wife? Breast cancer. Look at my eyes, because I'm writing from my own house. It's funny, think about it. You ever see a hot single girl with breast cancer? You never do, it's always a wife. You know? Like, like once you say husband, you become a guy who likes meatloaf. You hate, I hate meatloaf. I became a fucking husband. And now there's a good chance she might die. She hates me too, so I'm allowed to say it because she's stronger than me. Um, no, she's good. She just lucked out. One of my rich comedic friends just gave her enough money to get 17-year-old implants. So she's happy. She goes, I feel like I'm getting rid of a car. I said, but you're getting better headlights. <laughs> Folks, macho. Macho fucking humor. You already did for it. Better headlight, better headlight. You know, but it's weird with someone's breast cancer because you got to saying the nice things real fast. Like she goes, I'm not gonna have nipples. I go, they, they, they suck. Nobody likes n nipples. But they're in the way. They have bumps on them, like mistakes. Just get a tattoo of, of a jaguar, or a, a real jaguar, or a passion hawk. I don't know, just something with wings. What the hell do I care about a fucking breast cancer? I didn't want to marry in the first place. I didn't fucking starts off life as a stripper, and then when I marry her, the next night she turns the lights off at nine and says, I'm going to sleep now, we have a different life, welcome to hell. You know? It's gonna be quiet in the house, quiet. Isn't the house peaceful? I go, yeah, it is. It's really peaceful, man. I'm starting to hump the mattress and love it more than you. The mattress feels like a person, man. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! She used to, she's a fucking stripper. 
She could slide up and down a pole 18 times in four seconds without even using her arms or legs. Just her vagina looks like. Yeah, the Discovery Channel call it the Undiscovered Insect. It just flies around the room. I don't call it vagina, I call it America's Heartland. Her dreams are back. Oh, if I look at you, the madness grins and looms. I see the confusion croons. I feel like a hidden musician hears the beat. It's on your feet. Can you talk like that? You're the wrong guy. Let me cup of coffee. Get out of here! I want to be with her and write poetry! Puppet show! Puppet! Puppet! That's a puppet. I'm a real puppet. Once you go hand, you never go back to a man. Stupid. Why is he so stupid? Why don't you just talk like a hip comic? Just relax, you know? Like sing-song voice. My therapist says you talk like you're always in trouble and swallowing cum and cigarettes. I said it's an old habit. It's an old habit. That's my favorite. I just thought it. It's, it's an old habit. From now on, I'm going to do everything wrong and just say, sorry, it's an old habit. You know, you know like I punched a guy in a restaurant once because I'm strong and kill anyone. Cause I'll just attach to your neck and look like an experimental monkey, like... I don't know how they sound. I figure they sound like an electric bumper car from my childhood. But, uh, that's what I'm doing. I just end every joke like it's from my, from my childhood. You know, dad was good to me. That's how they talk out here in L.A. They're like, dad was good to me. My father was good to me. We bought an angel calendar, and my son was out here. You know, I like New York where they just go like, you fucking asshole, you piece of shit. Out here they go like, you're acting kind of shitty now. You're a piece of shit now. Here's what I'm saying. In New York, you're like, I like people that are fucking angry. Out here they pretend to be angry. They walk up to you like, are you going to take that parking space? You know? But in New York, they're like, if they're angry, they give a shit. They're like, how you doing? You are all right? You need any fucking money? Fuck my wife, I love you more. Punch on pal. Punch on motherfucking pal. Every time you hear the word punch on, I mean, every time you hear the word pal, you know the rest of that joke. I'm a Republican. I'm a Republican. Doesn't Donald Trump look like he's trying to shit through his face? Yeah. Jobs, no welfare, no nothing. Vote for me. Because I'm a lobster eater. Like a Republican suck. You can always tell when you listen to the radio who's Republican and who's the. What's the other party called? No, they're not. They're all the same. I tricked him. Make a mud pie. So, uh, uh, usually it's a Vietnam reference. But, uh, look how beautiful you are. You guys together? No, no, I got my dick wrapped around her because I'm trying to get into her wallet. <laughs> so you got a good thing, right? You, you don't look like you got a, I got a fucker by midnight look on your face like Condoleezza Rice has. <laughs> you know, you know, like, you, got, you look like you got a really beautiful thing. So that's nice. So you, you cheat on her. Let me ask you a question. You got my back. You said you had my back. And you two bunch of fucking liars. Bunch of fucking no good liars. Good for nothing. Bunch of dread snakes. That's not even a word, but I made it up and the lesbians got it, so that makes me king. The lesbian gets a horrific, abstract reference. It means they've lived the same life as me. We are no different. Well, uh, I'm straight, so I didn't suck any cock either until I told people I was gay to get drugs, and I was... So, this is a weird news for you. Like, if, you, if you're straight, and you gotta suck dick to eat, for the, you gotta act really gay, or you don't get this, the taco or the $60, wherever your self-esteem is, and mine was neither and both. <laughs> but if a guy's looking at you, you know, because I couldn't blow guys, I was bad at it. Oh, I actually heard this, get up, I'll do you, you're worse than my wife. <laughs> True story, you don't write this shit. <laughs> you know, so, so, so the guy's blowing me, and, and, and I'm not, you're not against gay, right? People should do whatever they, they, they want, even if it means setting a rabbit on fire and smoking it, because you're a trust fund crackhead. Uh, it all ties in the previous life. I believe mean, this is a smart class. Uh, can you imagine if you guys were dumb? You'd be like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Say one joke. I need a beginning, middle, and end. This ain't right. I want my money back. Where's my fucking equal, miss? I want an equal, too. It all counts. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, man. You all right? 
<laughs> he's good. Like, t tough guy. Like, a guy like me, I said, I'm tough, but a tough guy's always going. I go, you already know. No, I'm hurting pretty bad. You, know I mean? <laughs> you guys are confident. And one time a tough guy goes, I go like, I'll fucking break your ass. And he goes, he goes, he goes like, goodbye, fly. I'm like, well, I would have I hurt you so bad. But I was having, I wore spurs at the time, so I was in Texas. So I was well protected by the non-Jewish community. But, uh, speaking of that, you think Hitler ever said big, the word big time? I think you ever said big time, like a guy has a vision like that, a horrible tr tragedy, but a huge vision. After killing like 300,000 Jews, he must have at one point gone like, oh man, I'm killing Jews big time. I'm big time Jew killer. Oh man, I'm big time Jew killer. Here, here comes the funny part. Before you put your elbows in your salad and judge me like, oh shit. So, uh, so uh, if he said it when he was a kid, it would have been fun funny. Like, I was like, nobody would have believed him. He would have been like, what do you want to be when you grow up, kid? I want to be big time Jew killer. Big time. All right, keep walking. There's free cotton candy by the carousel. Go ahead. No, don't push me no more. I'm going to be big time dermatologist or Jew killer. So what? Oh, fuck that joke. That joke should die like the rest of them. I mean, Hitler jokes. But, uh, all right, here's a joke. Fucking want to run around. I, you know, I like your ink. I got a tattoo of shit on the back of my balls. I don't know how to get uh, That was the worst joke I ever said by anybody, and I win. So, uh, <laughs> Like, girls give cute blowjobs. I mean, I want to talk about this. Who's a guy... All right, girls give cute blowjobs, right? Like, you're a guy. You give a cute blow blowjob? Or you gay or straight? You're so handsome. You look like a swimmer who has no sexuality at all. You're just here to be admired. The girl's like, can I blow you? No. That's funny. You guys can't answer anybody. Can I suck your dick? He doesn't answer me. Uh, you give a cute blowjob, right? Yeah, see, she's proud of me. Her eyebrow went up. The only East Indian eyebrow raise, I call it. Very few women are that erotically connected. They just go. And that means you're going to have the best night of your life. You, you just go. Most girls go like, all right, I'll fuck you. I. But very smart ones go like, that means your clitoris looks like a hammock. You can't, you can't buy that on Best Buy. They don't teach that in school. You can't, you gangster pussy now. Oh, by the way, I'm going long. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, what are you talking about, man? Before my father entered the room with a shovel. Uh, so you give a cute blowjob, blow, blow, that's good. You give a cute blowjob, blow and don't say watch it, you right? Be, be secure. Really? Mm. That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. That's a fucking thing. That's a, uh, so you give a cute blowjob. You give a gorgeous one, actually. You're gonna, you give an eternally adorable one. You're, you're like, because girls are always cute. They never, they can't ever give a not cute blowjob. Everything you do is cute. You know, like, like girls are like, you start off cute. You're like, yummers, here I go. Lollipops, chewy chews, gummy bears, gumdrop mountain, sugar and valley, sweetness pie. Mermaids waving with little fingers to mermaids with smaller fingers to make cute little pigs look happy. Pa pancakes, keep keeping pancakes warmer than waffles. You syrup about heat. Hi, hi. And then you become like a, you start cute. Then you become like an angry father, marine sergeant, family of Samuel Jackson from Pulp Fiction. You know, say no teeth again, motherfucker. Say no teeth again. There's no teeth in country. They speak English to no teeth. Mind if I have a sip of your cock? <laughs> that is a tasty beverage. You know, you start off so cute. You start off so cute. It's unbelievable. You're like, here I go, sweetness pie. More cherries waving to strawberries to teach them how to fly like doves in red skies. Cuteness waving to cuteness. Yummers. Lollipops again. More lollipops. Here we go. And then you become like a hawk descending on a carcass. Like, yummy, yum, yum, yum. Lollipop. Wow. <laughs> I will rip it off! Oh. I will rip that fucker off! Oh. I own you now! I'm talking about the kind of blowjob that's so good it controls the rest of your life. You're gonna be shopping at Starbucks buying Beanie Bag Babies and any DeFranco CDs the rest of your life. <laughs> You're going to be going to 
Target doing Martha Stewart sheet thread counts every Sunday during the hot heat wave after your fucking museum, saying things like, okay, but I deserve a movie after this. And tough guy in the back's gonna be going to Whole Foods every fucking night going, you know, I like leafy green vegetables, I didn't think I would, but Whole Foods is like a Disneyland for happy turnips and squash. <laughs> Is there milk in the milk or meat in the meat? I can't have it. You won't suck my dick. <laughs> and I'd like to end that with an ode to Johnny Cash. <laughs> I hurt myself today. <laughs> right, that, thanks a lot, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being comedy leaders to the comedy audiences. You guys fucking are fucking amazing. Thank you. Thank you. And it's back to India where we all belong. <laughs>